Hi chums, right, we've got a, 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 a sort of, what do you call it, an amendment made to my little camera stand, I'll show that in a moment, but I've got the camera in position now, okay, so it's right above the lathe, and I can zoom in, and get quite close, and I can obviously zoom out again, okay, so that's that, now, I'll show you what I can do here, I can move the camera about, to give this sort of view here, if I want to, what do you see now, if I can just, to give a view from that angle there, say, I can just put it to there, I'm trying to do this starting up in a box, okay, and just move, moving the box over to get a better view, so I can give an angle, a sort of an angle there, on the, on the video, this is my first time doing this, so please bear with me, okay, and then I can obviously bring it back, bring it back to where it was, and just do my readjustments wherever they are. What do you see now? How did I get that the last time to go there? Ah, see now. I need this is. I want. I don't. I'll not be wanting to do this when I'm actually filming because I'm all over the place here. Where's my camera goblet at? Right, there's the goblet, and then. The camera needs to go that way. Ah, oh, that's it now. Right, right. There's another angle there, just about f sort of 45 degrees on there. I could do that. So what I'm going to hear is saying to folks is what, what sort of angle is best? Do you want it slightly askew like that? Or would you prefer the, the straight... I'm not sure I'm trying to move this camera around without touching buttons. Or do you prefer the straight on type affair like that? I imagine that was okay because you would see exactly what, what my hands were doing basically, you know? Or what the tools were doing without seeing me. But I'm just going to actually stand down here for a second. I need to make sure that if I do lift a tool that I'm not going to end up in the, in the shot, would I say? You know what else? That would be okay. My hand, just my hands. Or my, the ends of my, my fingers are there. So, uh... So what do you do? Now Donald mentioned that he would prefer not not doing overhead shots to do a shot from out, out, out on the side here, say, like looking over my shoulder affair, I imagine, like standing beside me when I'm turning or standing beside another turner watching what they're doing. And uh, that would mean set, doing a different setup. But I'm going to try this first and then I'll go to the other one because it's easy to put another bracket in the wall somewhere and do the same thing again. Now, just bear with me while I take this camera off the mount because um, I'm going to show you what I've done here. Gary Entropy, you see, I've done such a good job on this, the bloody thing won't come off now. Ah, here we are. Gary Entropy suggested not using the Gorilla Pod because he didn't like them, he thought they weren't as secure. So what I've done is, I've gone to, I'm trying to touch places where there's no buttons here, folks, to get my hand into the camera. Right, and then I go backwards, and that's the wrong way. Right, so what I've done is, I've basically just got a mount off an old camera, a try off an, let's move it there, a mount off an old tripod, and that was an L-shaped bracket that I broke, and put a, a hinge in, basically, and then it's hinged there as well. So I've got full articulation there, well, full 180 degree articulation, I've no, I'm not in 360, well, I'm not in three, two dimensional articulation, I've got three dimensional, but um, that should give me any position I want, and I've left that stick fairly long, so they can put it further out here if I need to, but I can cut that off, but for the first go, that's what I'm at, and from down here, maybe it'd be better to look at, without, without showing it in the thing, there's it there, so it's basically just a stick, with the the new bracket on it, that's just a, a, a mounting, a camera mount I took off an old tripod, and it's on it's on there, and I've got the, the two hinges basically to articulate it. So give me a bit of feedback on that, folks, if you don't mind, please, because I'm just trying to get set up here. And what I can easily do then, if you prefer not to have an overhead type shot, but you prefer this type of shot more. Okay, I'm standing holding this. I can easily. Um, set up a, a mount over here somewhere. I'm just trying to get positions. Like there's another position there, say, shooting from behind the lathe. Do you prefer that sort of shot? I'm going to actually turn that the whole way around and try and get a shot in. I need to be a contortionist to do this. Yeah, there we are. 
Do you prefer that sort of shot from behind the lathe to look at it from there? So, we'll see how it works out, folks, all right? So, um, sorry about all the bad camera angles, but we're experimenting here, right? Doesn't the place need a good tidy out? It's actually not that bad. It's just this part here has got wood and stuff sitting chopped up for winter. I need to move that out. So, all the best now. Bye-bye.